Hello again, it's uh, January 31st, 2009. I'm going to give you another demonstration of how my lensless generator works. I got a little motor hooked up here. And of course, these are my ring magnets on either side. And they uh, are in repulsion mode. They are facing north to north or south to south with the coils between them and then rotating uh, between the coils and the magnets are two inductors uh, similar similar to this however the, the ones that I'm using currently only have four inductors on each rotor uh, this one has eight I found out that four works much better than eight because uh, eight absorbs too much of the magnetic uh, field, not allowing enough flux to get past the inductors. So that's why I use four, and I recommend it if you're going to use eight coils, use four inductors. And all they are are mending plates, steel mending plates you get at the hardware store. So, uh, now it's already running. Here's my little sp uh, speed indicator. It says 5.2 to 5.5. Running with no load. All right, no load at all. Here's one of the wires going to the coils. Coils are all hooked up in series, 18 gauge wire. And without further ado, let's put this on there. One wire and hook it up to the other. Hold on. There we go. Now. Got that. Wires are hooked up. And they're hooked up to a transformer, a little Radio Shack uh, transformer. Uh, 1.2 amp AC transformer, which then are hooked up. The output, uh, actually the high side output, and I got low side input. So we're having using it as a step up transformer. Now this thing is picked up speed now up to 6.5 and we have orange LEDs. Well, let's turn off our floodlight so you know a little better idea. Uh, there's 50 orange LEDs. And Let's see what else we can show you. Let's just disconnect the orange LEDs. Hook up. Our white LEDs. Sorry, it's, we've got three hands here. So we hooked up our white LEDs again. And we're, what is our, whoops, speed, well, 6.7, and the white LEDs light up here. And then we'll just disconnect again. Watch our speed drop here. Get back to no load. Load, speed dropping down. Apparently the uh, current flowing through the coils enables the coils to repel the inductors more when the inductor moves away from the coil than when the inductor approaches the coil. And that is because uh, the uh, field raises and goes to a maximum sometime after the inductor has entered the uh, end vicinity of each coil and that is why the coil then repels the inductor 
more strongly as the inductor leaves the vicinity of the coil than when it approaches the coil. Actually, the explanation for why it goes faster when you hook up or allow current to flow. Well, the other thing I can show you here, we'll go, we're going to back down to 5.2. Let's hook up, let's short the coil. Let's show you what I mean. We'll just shorten it out completely. No load, of course, but I'll short it out. And it speeds up again. Because we're allowing current to flow through the coils. It's speeding itself up. So you can't say it's inductance matching or impedance matching, anything like that. It's just merely allowing the current to flow through the coils. So it gives it the uh, increase in the speed. 6.7, 7.0. Allowing the maximum amount of current to flow by shorting it out. It goes a little faster. And when we have a load on it, it's a little bit of resistance. 7.2. We aren't really avoiding Lenz's Law, we're actually taking advantage of it. We're avoiding the negative effects of Lenz's Law, as we're not allowing the coils and the uh, moving inductors to attract it all to each other, and that would slow it down, of course. But that uh, attraction is what makes a lot of generators hard to turn. The attraction increases as you allow current to flow through the coils, and also uh, as the uh, in a normal generator, you also have a resistance as the magnet, the moving field, approaches the coil. And we avoid uh, those things entirely with this type of generator. And uh, I think that should be enough today. 7.2, I think that's about the high it's going gonna, it's gonna to get. Disconnect. No load again. Fire here. Dropping back down. Picture of it running. Of course, we have our little magnet on the end there. That's for our speed indicator, which is this uh, exercise speed indicator monitor. About 5.2, about as slow as it's going to go. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to visit overunitybuilder.com. Thank you.